Namaste. In this video, we are going to make this Geneva mechanism in Sourceworks. So let's start. So I have made everything in assembly. Okay. So I am in assembly mode currently. So first click on here. Click on new part. Select the top plane. Press Ctrl plus 8 for normal screen to the view. Now draw the sketch as I am showing. First draw a circle of diameter 200 mm. Click OK. After that uh, press escape and move the circle and select this point by pressing ctrl and click on coincident after that we need to make uh, some slots so to do that what we can do is click here and draw the slots as per your requirement the distance between them is 11 mm and the total length is 75 mm now draw a center line like this now give it an angle of 36 degree After that, uh, go here, click on circular pattern, select this point as the point of for the circular and draw this slot, select this slot, sorry, and increase the number of instances to 5, point, uh, five okay. Now click OK. After that, click on here, click on th three point parameter. Select this point, select this point, and select this point. Okay, now give it the dimensions uh, 115 mm, and the radius is 135. Sorry, press control set. It is 135.19 mm. We can't change it. Uh, so, select this line. Click on for construction purposes. Okay. Because this line is for only for construction. And draw another circle. Uh, taking this as a center. Give it a dimension as per requirement and give it a dimension of 110 mm. Okay. Now, what we need to do is. Uh, select this one as well click on construction geometry now go to trim entities trim this line yes yes uh, trim this one too and similarly trim this as well Now, draw a center circle as well. Uh, go to features, click on extrude. Uh, before, wait a minute, before I extrude it, uh, what we need to do is select this line, uh, okay, and do this. And go to the sketch part, click on trim line, trim this line, and trim this one. And circular pattern. Select this point, uh, circular pattern, select this point, select the arc, 
uh, increase the number of instances to 5 click ok now trim entities now go to features click on store 10 mm is fine click ok so this is the first part now exit that assembly component mode click here click on new part select the top plane press ctrl plus 8 now let's make the last part so draw a circle first of diameter 150 mm okay now we need to extrude it 10 mm click ok select this face click on sketch draw a circle here uh, this time the diameter is 135.91 click ok select this line click on construction draw this 10 mm ok and we need to draw two more things select draw this circle uh, its diameter is 110 mm and draw a center line like this draw a circle so distance from here to here is 115 and this line is uh, 200 mm click ok uh, trim entities trim this line this line this line this line and this line uh, go to features extrude it 10 mm click ok now exit assembly component mode uh, so it's like this uh, we need to exit the SM component mode search for here click on iView so as you can see I can move these two components so first thing I have to do is I have to do some meeting so select the front plane click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 draw the center line as I am showing uh, one more escape mm exit the sketch select this line top plane click ok select this line and this line click ok select this face and this one click ok now let's just adjust a bit for a second press ctrl plus 8 Now let's move it here. Now go to the motion study. Click on motor. Uh, select this face. Click on reverse direction. Decrease the RPM to 10. Click OK. Uh, if you notice, uh, if, uh, make sure here you can see this curve thing. So if I don't make this, what will going to happen? That this will move forward unwantingly and give the wrong results. So when I try to make this mechanism, uh, I doesn't make this. So I realize what kind of stupidity I am doing. So make sure that you don't skip this part. I saw some uh, photos on internet where some people make doesn't make this part and saying that this is Geneva mechanism. 
try to make that part and do simulation you will realize why it is necessary okay and go to the contacts uh, like this and this one now before i move further i highly recommend check out my free courses link in descriptions okay one course is absolutely free uh, for example if you want to learn solidworks it is totally free of course so make sure that you check out and if you want to learn about solidworks animation and motion analysis it is a paid course it is totally worth it if you get any kind of doubts simply message me on udemy i will reply Namaste guys, in this course you are going to learn about SOLIDWORKS. In the first chapter you are going to learn about basics of animations like Explore View as you can see now. And you will learn about how to change color and appearances animation. How to make mechanism here as you can see a offset crank mechanism. How to make a 4 bar mechanism and analyze its trace path ok and how to make it more correct. We will also plot various kinds of things like acceleration, velocities and other parameters in a 4 bar mechanism while analyzing. We will calculate how, to, how much torque or energy required in a certain mechanism in SOLIDWORKS motion analysis. After all this we will learn event based motion analysis. That is very important in real life for making animations of robots and machines. You will also learn what are the different ways to animate and everything is covered in this course. Okay, after that uh, go to SOLIDWORKS add-in, click on SOLIDWORKS motion, now go to motion analysis, click on calculate. Here you can see the mechanism working correctly. Uh, let's increase this time bar to let's say 20 seconds and this one to here as well. Now click on calculate. I again telling you that make sure that you make this curve part. I spend you know stupidly more than hour because I am not making this part and trying to do simulation. Later on I realize this what is the purpose of this part. Okay, this part is not for show. Sure. If this part is not here, this thing will move forward. Okay, so make sure that you make this part. And you can increase or decrease the speed of Geneva mechanism as per your requirement. And I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any kind of doubts and queries, make sure that you ask in comments. And thanks for watching and have a great day. Make sure that you check out of the cool tutorial links, link in descriptions.